Hi everybody, Pat here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Just want to show off one of our new kits slash modules. You'll be able to buy this uh, fully assembled uh, or in DIY kit form. I've got a limited supply of these. Uh, what it is, is it's essentially my supercapacitor battery um, with uh, a digital display and without the booster. So if you've gone to Instructables and you've found me through Instructables, uh, you'll know that I, I came uh, up with a uh, supercapacitor battery with the voltage booster. Now, I didn't add the voltage booster to this. Uh, what happens is you plug it in, and it charges the supercapacitors up to 5.33 volts, and once it's done, it stops, and the LED starts blinking. Now, while it's charging, the display will show you what voltage is on the capacitors, and when it's done charging, it'll show you your input voltage. So let me give you a quick demonstration. I will be making an assembly video for this later, but I'm just going to make a few uh, demonstration videos for today. Now, I'm putting it sideways because if I film it... Uh, from this angle, you won't be able to see the uh, display very easily. So, just all you have to do once it's assembled is plug it in, and this one's already more or less charged, uh, just to save time. As you can see, as soon as you turn it on, it starts. Uh, it starts. Uh, charging. Now the capacitors are completely isolated through a relay and uh, um, what is happening is there's a feedback loop to the uh, while the relay is on to the PIC through an analog to digital converter port that tells us how much voltage is on the uh, capacitors. So once that reaches roughly 5.33 volts uh, you'll, the relay will click off, st the charging will stop and uh, you can take the power charge in your supercapacitors, 5.33 volts, uh, through the output here. And there's a ground and out. And that's completely isolated. There'll be no back powering through the circuit. Uh, you'll know it's done primarily because uh, the uh, display will start displaying the input voltage uh, as well. The uh, LED will start blinking. So there's really nothing to it once, once you receive this or once you put it together. You plug in your 9 volt, uh, 1 amp power supply and there you go so as you see when it was done charging um, the LED starts blinking and you see the input voltage on the display uh, and then you can unplug it and the power in the supercapacitors uh, is isolated no back powering and you can you can access it via the terminal block. So I'm just going to unplug it and uh, there you go. Now this is a, a 200, 200 farad 5.4 volt bank and so as you can see I charged it to just under that that the, the value of 5.4 volts to keep them safe because if you what makes supercapacitors so special is if you treat them right they will potentially last hundreds, hundreds of thousands of charges whereas batteries any kind of batteries, rechargeable batteries, non-rechargeable batteries, they have a life. They have a memory. And uh, so that's what makes this kind of neat. Now I've got all sorts of super capacitor kits, so f please feel free to visit engineeringshock uh, at hotmail or engineeringshock.com and electroniclessons.com. Uh, tons of new kits I'm going to be showing off today. And uh, yeah, there you go. That's the super capacitor battery module. Hope you like it. I'm going to make, be making a video very soon. Uh, showing off how to put it together from scratch. Thanks for watching, everyone.